Hello, Peace Weapon here. Today I have this lock that's a Picard VG, a French band block, and uh, it works by pushing the key inside and then turning it around. So there's a little uh, thing with this uh, cam because I removed the, the back part and because of that this is always getting out um yeah but um the the front half is what i would need to be picked and as you can see I'll show you there are seven sliders all around and the front proportion has two sections this so this uh, front plate and there's a, the plug in the back Let's see if I can show you right there so this is front plate and this is the actual plug that rotates and you can see also that there's this um, well let's say uh, pump section that is needed to go back to release the sliders so that we can pick it but fortunately they uh, that part doesn't work all that well so I can pick the sliders individually and the, the pump central section will be going back as we pick the sliders uh, so we don't have to touch it a few times during the pick so it settles in place. Very interesting lock similar to other French locks that uh, I've picked already other French pump locks uh, this has uh, uh, some differences uh, the tensioning is not as easy you can see that there are two sections here that protrude one of them is going to limit how much the key can go inside to rotate like this the other one well probably wouldn't be needed but they put it anyway and each cut on the key will push one slider inside Uh, there are a few versions of Picard VG. Uh, some of them are in door locks, uh, round cylinders with long sliders. Uh, this one is uh, from uh, is a, a Nero cylinder, Nero format. So it has smaller sliders that I'm going to show you. So let's see if I can pick it today. So I'm going to try to pick this cylinder and for that I made a custom tensioner because I don't really need to have a tensioner that also pushes on the central pump section. Um, I only need to have the inside behind the as you can see, that part is the only part that we need to move. Now tensioning can be a little tricky here. I'm going to use this wire and put it inside and just tension it like this. Now, this has some disadvantages. Uh, disadvantages. Um, I can't do a full turn using this technique. I could do another different technique 
for that. Leveraging from those uh, protrusions here. So that could be done. Like this. Uh, it does occupy a little bit of space, but it's possible to handle. And this way I could go all the way around. Now, we don't need that, so I'm going to use this, this format this way. And let's see if I can actually pick it. bit better I think we are nearly there. Fortunately, they don't all reset when I drop the tension. Just making sure. Okay, very well. I can show you the rotation there. Might as well turn it all.
Oh, you can see that, right? It's nearly all the way there. Yeah, it's picked. So let's turn it back. That's good. Stop here just for you to see. These are the springs on the back of the sliders. I removed this main one. There's the the pump or the plunger, better said. Um, get the Here we go. Now, complete view. Now I have to be very careful because the sliders will drop to the middle. Let's get the rest. Okay, so here we got the ticketed block. As you can see, these sliders are very small, comparing with the uh, sliders from uh, the large door locks that I can, I can show you here. Uh, and also, there is another difference. There isn't. There aren't false gates all that big in comparison with the other locks. There are some serrations here, like this. They they can be called false gates, but there aren't all th those big false gates here on these sections. So and as with many pump locks, the the way this works is that you have the sidebar wrapping around the plug, like this, and the sliders will have to align their false gates, their, their true gates, sorry, uh, with the sidebar. That goes there. You can see here. So in the beginning, they are open, and then as they rotate, the sidebar will go through the true gates. If the true gates are not aligned with the sidebar, what happens is, let me see if I can show you this better. What happens is that it will lock against here. Will lock against the side of the side the the slider. So that's mostly how this works. 
and uh, hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching